did in 2016 here. Yeah, Ferrara's had a great stretch in conference play. Her and Rodriguez have each tallied four goals and an assist, so nine points in the conference for each of them this season. So they have two really powerful people up top. Fredrickson lost control of it. UCF finds it, and it's in. A UCF goal five minutes in the game from Carol Rodriguez. Fredrickson, the defender, was all the way up in the front of the formation, and Rodriguez finds it at her feet after the deflection. The Knights with a goal in the fifth minute. Wow, is this deja vu or what for SMU? Rodriguez knows there's so much ahead of her still, and it's an awfully long game, but we get a different look at how this one found its way into the back of the net. Yeah, Carol Rodriguez is such an aggressive player. She didn't count on the goalkeeper picking up the ball. She was ready to follow up, followed up ring on this team. So we'll see if they can get something on the end of this set piece. This is their specialty. Thompson. Headed toward the net, and it's in! The Mustangs tie the game. Claire Oates knots it at one apiece with under 20 minutes left. Brenna, you just said that you hadn't called her name very much. Well, there it is, off of the corner. She uses her size there. The junior does six feet tall. That's impressive. Haley Thompson, number 11, sent it into the box on the corner kick. And then it was a really well-headed ball into the net by Claire Oates. That's her ninth goal of the season. She wasn't even sure it would go in with the defender standing. And it's saved! The Mustangs survive in PKs! And they will play the Memphis Tigers in the semifinals! Both teams capitalized on their first goals, and UCF missed three in a row. Great save right there by Katie Brown. Comes up huge for her team. That seals it. SMU on to the semifinals. Unbelievable finish. Well, it had to be that dramatic given the way things had gone here throughout the first 110 minutes. Just a tremendous effort by the SMU Mustangs who gave up a goal in the fifth minute of this game and somehow managed to not bend too far. The Mustangs survive. You can see the emotions overpouring down in the field.